Hello, welcome to this video discussing the subject of Blue Open Studio communicating to controllers running the CODASYS system. In this fourth video in the series, we will look at troubleshooting and more specifically, we will look at some problem scenarios and discuss how Blue Open Studio reacts or doesn't react to specific scenarios. Uh, so hopefully armed with this information, you can save time trying to figure out what potentially is happening in your system. So to some extent, uh, the agenda is, is the same as all the previous, the previous three parts. I will you know, walk through the two environments and then we'll trigger some deliberate issues and look at uh, where we can monitor these items in Blue Open Studio and what kind of codes and information we can get back uh, from the, from the built-in uh, driver that exists, okay? So I, I'm not going to go over this as I just I left the review and basics part just up at the top. Uh, if you haven't seen one of the previous videos and are interested, you can pause and review that. Okay, so in, in <clears throat> so what we're going to go over here in part four in our in our troubleshooting video is we're going to talk about uh, you know in the previous videos we learned that you have the ability to browse the tags live, uh, for example, and uh, we'll look at, at some considerations that uh, that have to do with when you are having connection problems and you are uh, browsing the tags live. Uh, we'll look at some uh, driver read and write status codes in the driver sheets. Uh, we will look, uh, we'll be using the watch window to troubleshoot <coughs> the, uh, the code assist communications. We're going to look at no connection or connection issues, right? So cable disconnected, Ethernet configuration problems, etc. And then we'll look at what happens when I request a tag that doesn't exist in the controller, for example. Also, we'll look at some scenarios where we'll talk about the XML or when the simple configuration, that I should probably change this text here, the when the simple configuration or the XML file is either does not, uh, has not been configured in the CODASYS controller or it's the wrong one. So we're out of sync. So we've got a specific XML that we're on, that we're uh, syncing up to to create our variables in the HM, in our Blue Open Studio environment, but that is out of sync with the PLC. And we'll look at what actually happens there. Okay, so we're gonna start here in our uh, Blue Open Studio environment and what in I'm just going right into the uh, tag integration settings and what you'll notice is I've got my Cortisys version 3 and then I've got my runtime address and you notice here that I'm not uh, I have not linked up any XML file in this particular project I'm just um, using the live browsing so I'm going to go ahead and click OK it'll tell me about the refreshing okay and it'll take a second so right now I do have a good connection and I'm connected to a to a working PLC, my my Blue Open Studio project and my uh, PLC project are in sync. OK, so then what what happens actually is, is what I've talked about before in other videos about tag integration is what what happens when you use tag integration is it does. It will end up creating a driver sheet for you. Uh, and when you do get the driver sheet, you'll notice it just looks, looks like a regular driver sheet. And what you notice, what I've done in here, is I in the read status and write status fields in the main driver sheet, I've put some tags in there, just integer tags, so we can get the codes back. And those codes look like this. So right here, what I'm in here, what what I am in here, sorry, is I am in the co-sys driver guide version 3.14 and you'll see here I can go down to the troubleshooting section and what you'll see is that the driver fails to communicate you have the read status and write status fields and there are error codes that can tell you the different things that could potentially be going on so what you see what I've done here is I've got read status and write status here just in my watch window. I'm going to go ahead and close out the driver sheet for now and I'm going to go to a screen and I'm just going to put it just a real quick I'm just going to put a text box on here because I want to do a live browse of the PLC and show you how everything is synced up currently. We'll let this 
do its thing. Okay, so through the magic of video, back to a place where, okay, so I'm just going to say, so you can see currently I can live browse the PLC. Okay, not going to get anything. I just wanted to show that. So cancel, go ahead and delete this object. Oops, Oops. click here. Okay, I'm going to close this screen. The other thing down here, you'll notice this again, I've got my watch window. Uh, my typical settings that I use are going to here, field to read, field to write, protocol analyzer, insert date and time, and I can log to a file if I want. You can see I've already been using it. I'll go ahead and just I'll clear it out so we can start fresh. And then I'm going to go ahead and run our project. You'll see that it'll initialize. Everything is running. Okay, and it's telling us if you look in here, you could tell us it's giving a range of tags that it's reading. If you look at my screen, let's see where the viewer is. Here's our, okay, so you, as you can see, here's our screen. You can see I don't have any question marks. So based on that and the fact that everything says it's okay here in the watch window, all of my statuses are okay. Everything is good. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead and stop that now. Okay. Okay. So now, what I'm going to do with the cable disc or with the with the project stopped, getting ahead of myself here. Uh, what I'm going to do with the project stopped is I'm going to go ahead and disconnect the cable. Okay. So now I do not have any connection from my uh, Blue Open Studio host to the PLC. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go. So we're still here in our project. I'm going to open up my screen. Again, I'm going to put a new text box on here. I'm going to go, and now I'm going to browse. And what you'll notice is I still have my uh, live browsing. I still effectively can, uh, I can still see all the variables that are in that PLC. And the reason that is, is because this is cached. Okay, so this is what this is, is it's just showing me this is not actually live browsing the PLC anymore. Okay, so now that I am not disconnect, I'm disconnected from the PLC, I'm showing that in this project where I have browsed the PLC live before that I can still work with the work with the project, so to speak, working off the cache that's part of this project. So let, let's see what happens when I create a new project with the Codasys driver and try to do the same thing. So we'll just go ahead and just create a project new. We'll just call it video for Put us some tag level. Okay, we'll go through our normal startup stuff that we do when we do Blue Open Studio projects. We'll go through here. Okay. And what we're going to go ahead and we're going to go straight to the communication. Okay, here in our tag integration, we're going to go ahead and just we're going to go ahead and add a tag integration. We're going to say Codasys. We're going to add, we're going to version three, we're going to put in our runtime address. It's okay, but we're disconnected from the PLC. We're going to say, okay, we're going to say, okay. So now we're going to go to a screen, create a screen. I'm going to put a text box on here and go to browse. And what you'll see is now that I have, I, I don't see any cache. Okay, so just just showing that to you. So if you, so if you're in a situation, that would be an obvious situation of, I put, I know that I've got the right connection information, but when I go to browse, I get absolutely nothing. Right, so it means basically the, um, it can make a connection. Now, unfortunately, when you're doing this live tag browsing, there is no feedback from the watch window as to what the system is doing. Obviously, the system is negotiating with the PLC somehow. Don't know what magic is going on there. Um, so it is, it's unfortunately just going to have to, it's not working, could be connection problem, could be, uh, you know, something's wrong in your, in your connection name, who knows. Okay, so it's be, be a little bit careful of that. Okay, so now we are back into our uh, previously working project, right? But we know that this project is in sync with our PLC. Okay, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm just going to go ahead and run it. And we know we know we have errors. I'm going to put my um, I'm going to put my tags back 
into here. Okay, and what you can see is I'm getting a read status of one back here. And, and you'll notice in the uh, log win window, I'm just basically getting a result PLC not connected, check your network connection. If we go to the PDF for the codes, you can see it's just code one is a simple PLC not connected, lost connection to the PLC, et cetera. Okay, so now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is let's see how this recovers. I'm just gonna go ahead and just physically plug the cable back in. By the way, let me pull over. Before I do that, let me pull over the viewer window. You haven't, I haven't seen, you haven't seen that. You can see there's my, there's my uh, infamous question marks. Okay. Plugged it back in. Maybe you heard that. And let's give it a second here. See how it's going to recover. I don't want that. Get the screen out of the way. Okay. So now you can see. I briefly paused the video, so maybe you missed it. I don't think we saw the transition. But now you can see everything is okay. My statuses have gone back to zero. If I look at my window, I have my values. Okay. So now we can see all is well with our running project, right? I have, oops, I think I did it again. Okay. So you can see everything is, is running well, so now let, let's go ahead and take a look at our uh, PLC real quick. First, let's okay. Let me go back to the screen. You can see these are the variables that you're looking that I'm looking at right now. I'm just looking at this. It's array, this integer array called the uh, integer array global, and then I have a two-dimensional array that I'm also looking at currently. Okay. So now here, looking at the uh, PLC, if you if you look here at my uh, global variable list. You could you can see that I have a, I'm just going to choose this uh, simple integer for example okay so right now this uh, this tag exists in the PLC but I have not added it to my blue open studio project okay so now back here in my blue open studio project what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the driver sheet and I'm going to get I'm going to add a tag and I'm going to I'm it's going to be a valid tag I'm going to I'm going to make it, uh, you know, there's my Blue Open Studio tag name. That's just, I'm just going to make it an integer. Here's my station number. I still had that on the clipboard. And then my O address is going to, it will be, I'm just going to formulate it manually. It's just going to be application dot, oops, dot gbl dot, and the name of the tag is int plc underscore int zero. Oops, that's not an underscore. Okay. Okay, so now I've got that, that tag created. So that's a valid tag in my PLC. So I'm going to close the driver sheet. Then I'll go to my screen. Okay. And I'll go ahead and take this and I'll put it to tag. Okay. Gonna go ahead and close that. Let's reset our window. And I'm gonna go, oh, oh, I was running it, okay. I'll stop it so we can reestablish it. <laughs> I was doing all that editing while it was running, so it kicked right in, but uh, it's not exactly how I wanted it. But so, so you can now see here the communications is running. And if I uh, pause the uh, driver's sheet here, what you'll see is I just go up here and you can kind of see how it, I'll scroll to the top. This is where it started. And you can see here's where it's asking for that one individual integer here. And then you can see here, this is where it is asking for uh, those, the range of those arrays. Okay, so now let's go ahead and uh, induce a error on purpose and see how the system reacts. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go in here and I'm going to alter the name of the uh, station number here. So I'm just simply going to change this from a 4 to a 5. 
Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and close and save the driver sheet. Okay. Yeah, so now what you'll see is on the screen itself, you'll see the question marks for for that object. Let me minimize that down. You'll see I'm getting, but I'm just getting, you can see I've got the station name is completely wrong, but I'm still just getting the, I'm just getting a regular uh, check your network connection error, just a note, error number one. And if I pause my sheet here, you could see I'm getting, I'm getting okay. And then I am getting a PLC not connected error. And I guess it, the good thing here is the good we could take away from here is that I've got a mixed bag. So I've got, even though I've got some tags that are good and some tags that are bad, the, but the, the tags that are good are still okay. Okay, so now we take a look at what that what so that's what an error looks like if I put if I have a problem in my uh, connection name. So now let's go ahead and let's just fix it to just get back to where things are working. Okay. Go ahead and run. Let's hope to see everything kick in. Okay. Here we go. We're populated here. And oh, I'm still paused. <laughs> okay, let's clear that. Let's look at it. We should have everything okay. Okay. All right. So, yeah, everything looks okay. So, let's go ahead and stop the project now. All right. Our statuses are both zero, two. So, that's a good thing. Let's go now. Let's go to the driver sheet. Okay. Now what we're going to do is now what we're going to do is let's go ahead and alter the tag name. So let's use a bad tag name. So instead of integer zero, let's say let's see we're going to ask for integer five, which doesn't exist. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and save the sheet. Okay, now I've already got the tag on the screen. Let's go ahead and let's just clear this out. Go ahead and run our project. Kind of see what goes down. Okay, so what you'll see is now we get a little bit different kind of error here. So I'm going to go ahead and pause it. And what you'll see is you in the in the read status you'll see it went to seven. And if we go look at what that looks like in the manual, it's basically saying. Um, communication error occurring during some sort of action error while trying to start the communication with the PLC. So it must be retrying for that tag at, to some extent and then the PLC just uh, never returns its value and it just it just gives up. Okay, so you can kind of see that here. Okay, if you look on the there's we're back to question marks. Okay, so let's go ahead and stop it. Okay, let's go fix it. Okay. Save our sheet. Let's make sure we start okay. Takes a few seconds. Can unpause my sheet here. Okay, we're back to being okay. Okay, so now what now what we're going to show is what I'm, what I'm doing is I'm, I've gone back into my Codesys environment. And what I wanted to show in this case was a project that I'm going to deploy in the PLC. But the thing that you'll notice about this project is that it does not have a symbol configuration. So what we do know is that for in order for the Codesys driver to communicate in Blue Open Studio to the PLC that a symbol configuration does need to be deployed. So what I'm going to do, go ahead and do now is I'm going to go ahead and deploy this PLP that this PLC project and I will be right back. I'll let you enjoy. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and run it. Okay, so now basically I have a I have a 
program in the PLC that's deployed. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to type a valid tag name into my BOS project and see what happens. Okay, so now back in our Blue Open Studio environment, uh, if you look, I've, I've pre-done this. Uh, what you could see is here on the driver sheet, I've just got my tag. I've got a perfectly fine station number matches the controller where I've got that program deployed and I've got a perfectly good uh, tag name also that the difference is is that the there is no symbol configuration been created in the uh, PLC so I'm going to go ahead and close the driver sheet close my screen okay save it okay so now let's see what happens when I run my project Okay, and you'll basically see you just get a PLC connected uh, one error. So a little bit of a disappointment there, not nothing really explicitly telling me, right? So it's a little bit tricky, right? So do I have a connection problem? Is my PLC not configured right? Um, stay tuned on this. This is not the end of this. This is, I don't know, again, the caveat here is that I haven't investigated all the different angles, but uh, I wanted to put this out there uh, to the you know just to get something out there so everybody can be aware of what we are currently uh, dealing with okay so I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead and stop the project okay and one other note is that I did I did also test this where I what I did was instead of ha having uh, no symbol configuration uh, what I did is I had a project with a symbol configuration but the XML file between the deployed project was different from the XML file that was being used in the Blue Open Studio project. And basically I got the same error. It was just a, just a raw PLC not connected error. Again, unfortunate. So in summary, um, what I can say is that the LogWin window does offer some polling and protocol information about what the driver is requesting to the PLC. That, so that actually is is quite nice. Uh, the, the like I said, there there are read and write error codes that are available in the driver sheets. Right, read status and write status. But for, unfortunately, for most basic errors, right, no symbol no symbol file out of sync symbol file connection issues problem with connection entry on the driver sheets basically result in the same error which is that uh, PLC not connected uh, read status equals one okay the only other uh, error that I was able to generate was the tag out of sync um, which is a fatal com error read status number seven and I just put a caveat on in in there and that you know all this is uh, been done in my brief testing here. So this is to some extent this is all subject to me uh, discovering uh, other things um, that uh, could come up. Uh, one of the things that I'd, I'd also I'd, I'd also like to look into is uh, what happens when we say have the PLC set up for either encrypted communication or you know and you know login issues, say wrong password. Uh, in the project, et cetera, or no password or no security, et cetera, and what the different errors uh, we can get out of the driver. Hopefully they they will be more than the PLC not connected error, but uh, who knows? So hopefully this uh, video was useful. Um, like I said, unfortunately didn't have a lot of differences in the errors, but uh, hopefully you can get a picture of uh, what you're dealing with when you're using the Blue Open Studio with the Codasys driver. So thank you for watching. Thank you.